Italy produces more than 100,000 tons of hazelnuts per year. That's hard labor. Can the new generation of robots facilitate the work of agronomists and farmers, making agriculture more economical and environmentally friendly? Very large farmlands like this research hazelnut orchard inevitably risk wasting water, pesticides, fertilizer and other resources. All plants across large areas have to receive the same treatment, whether they need it or not. Now researchers are working to make plant treatments more precise. Precision farming allows us to carry out targeted treatments at the right time, with the right quantities, depending on the actual needs of the plant, something that traditional agriculture today tends to neglect. Determining the individual needs of each plant would take humans too much time and effort, so that's where robots could help. This prototype is being developed to move around autonomously, taking measurements of the trees. We collect data with a laser scanner for 3D geometric reconstruction, and we use cameras to take multi-spectral and high-resolution images to assess the physical or health status of each tree. The robots send their data to a centralized computer system, also developed by the European research project Pantheon. An easy-to-use interface provides agronomists with everything they need to make their decisions, from weather data to detailed information on how the plants are doing. In the future, there will also be a 3D model of each tree with the recommended treatments. Should it be pruned? Is it well watered, well fertilized? With the whole farming history of that particular plant. The engineers use motion capture technology and autonomous driving algorithms to make the robot as accurate as possible. One of the goals is for the robot to use a special paint marker so it can label tree branches that need to be pruned. We're talking about marking branches as small as this, so we put a lot of effort into the aiming algorithm, taking into account everything from the wind speed to the position of the tree and the robot, all the uncertainties that could be simulated digitally. Humans will still have to prune the branches manually, but the robot will make them easier to find. The robot being able to mark the branches that need to be pruned would certainly provide a significant advantage to the agronomists on the ground. It makes the plants easily identifiable, so even an untrained agronomist would be able to immediately determine which branches to cut, and that will greatly facilitate pruning tasks. And to inspect large orchards even faster, researchers from ULB University in Brussels are working with Trio University on an autonomous drone. Its cameras should help determine irrigation needs, find pests or disease, and predict the harvest from the sky. The main players in the confectionery industry are certainly interested in this type of technology, simply because they'll be able to boost the production quality while minimizing the environmental impact, which is something that the major players have recently been showing an interest in. Researchers say their robots won't replace human workers. They will, in a nutshell, take care of some tedious tasks and cut down on pollution and waste.